When Army Chief General Deepak Kapoor launched the usual offensive against Pakistan's ISI at a lecture in New Delhi, he did not imagine that he'd be taken on. The recent blasts at Kabul have very clearly indicated the hand of the ISI. Pakistan's defense attache in New Delhi, Brigadier Mohammad Akbal, openly dared Kapoor to substantiate his allegation against the ISI. It has been highlighted time and again that there are proof of ISI's involvement. I think about one month or one month have passed. Those proofs have not been even provided on the demand of Pakistan. I think it would be better to provide the proof. India's army chief ducked the challenge, offering no contest. Not only was the Indian army chief left tongue-tied by the Pakistan defense attaché, he even bailed out the Pakistan army on repeated ceasefire violations, saying that this could be the result of a misunderstanding due to Indian firing on infiltrators. We try and take action against those infiltrators and fire at them. That being misconstrued as a fire by the opposite side onto them is what can lead to a violation of a ceasefire. The Pakistani was quick to capitalize on General Kapoor's clean chit. It is not the violations from Pakistan side. It is probably at times the misperceptions uh, on either side when you are firing. He even used General Kapoor's forum to make a sales pitch for the ISI. It's the most professional and disciplined intelligence agency. Barely a week ago, India's defense minister charged Pakistan with violating the ceasefire 19 times this year. Now Pakistan has this to say to the obliging Indian army chief. Thank you very much. <laughs> In New Delhi, Vishal Thapar.